Mary! I'm so sorry. What are you doing here? I'm sorry. How, how did you get up here? Uh, I went up to my roof, and then I went up to Sanudo's roof, and then got up on roof. Wait. And... Did you know I was up here? Gosh. Have you been following me? Oh, it is cool up here. Mary, what did I just say? Oh, I made you something. Apple. I put in brown sugar and cinnamon and raisins and... It looks really good. Eat it now. Mary, <laughs> I've got work to do. But I added a dash of clove and some salt. Mary. Is this yours? Yeah, no, hey. No one's allowed up here. It's very dangerous. <laughs> Sometimes robbers come up here. They don't like the way you look. Like that. You're off the roof. <laughs> well, you could protect me. <clears throat> I can't protect you anymore. Well, I'm not scared. Well, you should be. Why? Because the robbers might like the way you look. They might want to mess with you. Mess with me? Like how? You know. No one's allowed up here. Johnny accidentally, on purpose, touches. What did he do? It was an accident. Accidents can happen. Tell me what he did. He was just joking. And besides, he has a girlfriend, Nancy. And they're pretty serious, even though she's really stuck on. <laughs> Mother of Jesus. What am I going to do with you? Look, I want you to leave right now. You're distracting me. Why? If you keep tailing me, I'm never going to talk to you again, okay? Is it because Johnny touched me? No! Only, if he ever does that again, you would hit him hard with a bread tray and scream. Okay? Then we can go see the boats. Mary, we had a lot of good times. Shooting off roaming candles. Yeah, no. I and we shot, tell me that we shot off the bottle rockets and we had to run from the cops. Yeah, no, I saw that. <laughs> hey, don't you want your hat off the turn? No. I, I do and I don't. Look, Mary, I really like you. But I can't have you hanging around anymore. I've got a novel to write. <laughs> Romancing the ROM unit three seven six five falls in love with a human being, oh, but it is forbidden. I've got a girlfriend now, and when I don't spend my time writing my novel or fixing VCRs, I'm with her. You've got a girlfriend. What? Is that so hard to believe? Who? You wouldn't know her. What's her name? Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can still go see the boats. Why don't we do what we did last week? We snuck into that warehouse. It was really cool in there. It was it was like another planet. It was a good planet where anything could happen. Didn't you think it was cool? Mary, you're pretty. No, you're beautiful. But not everybody likes strawberry ice cream, okay? That's it. You like strawberry ice cream. Here, take a bite of the turn and it's getting cool. That's no good. I don't care. You've got to care. 
you've got to realize that you're someone special. I mean, do you think anyone else in the world can make an apple turnover like this? No. <laughs> no one else. Only Mary. Someone's got to do something with her hair. Yeah. My aunt does it. No kidding. <laughs> <laughs> It's not right. I've known you too many years. <laughs> Since the third grade, you were in fifth grade. They were chasing me because I never used to talk back then. And they grabbed me, twisted my arm, said, say something stupid. And then you came, threw them off, and they never chased me again. It wouldn't be right. For, for lots of reasons, so I, I want you to leave. Well, we can still talk when you're at the bakery, but just not up here, okay? Goodbye, Mary. jumps over the lazy dog. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrific, actually. I can type your book. Shit. <laughs> Tell me what to type. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Chapter 2. The 800 megabit heart. By that blue shuttlecraft into space, deeply disturbed. Major The android wondered if he could ever go for love. If he could ever really love a human female. Because not only was it forbidden. By the third robotic conference. <laughs> Bidek knew that what Jane Giles Dalish Prime deserved was a human male, fleshly, to give her all of his blood and heart and illogical devotion, but it, it was impossible. But? Impossible. The woman... Changes by your next subroutines. No, it's it's burned into him. He can only see her as something different than what he is. She she can change. She has a scientist put a CPU into her heart. No! The android would never allow that. She may think that's what she wants, but she'd be wrong and then she just end up regretting it. Never! Spelling. Z Y A D E C, right? No, no, it's just not gonna work out. You could teach me, please. Please, Mary, just. You're ruining everything! You. You should go through my house. I don't want you to break your neck. Mary, wait. What? Look, <coughs> you've gotta understand, it's. This has got nothing to do with your spelling or anything about you. You think I'm stupid? No, no. It's... You see, I, I've got these plans. Well, ideas. I've got these ideas about Hollywood. And, I mean, no one here belongs in Hollywood, right? Well, sure. Huh? Take a bite. Yeah. Good, right? I mean, whoever made this must have been like the... Einstein of pastry or something. <laughs> You're going to Hollywood. Ah, uh, hell. I mean, I haven't even written the damn thing. I, I love telling you about it. It's just, when I go to sit down and type, it doesn't matter. I'm sorry. That's okay. I've got to go. Wait, where?
What's wrong? It's stupid. Mary, I'm a lot like that android. You know how Viadep is supposed to be incapable of emotion? But, but when he sees that girl with the emotion mood, it's CPU. It just, it just starts buzzing. I mean, he's going through all these changes because he thinks something's wrong with him. I mean, he even let them reformat his every, like, CPU, just so he'd be a blank slate. And, yeah, he'd be alone forever, floating through space for all eternity. But, but then he realizes he may not be a human being, but he can tell, just tell, why human females special. Fascinating, which is so incredibly.